With flames engulfing houses all around him, Spud Spelnick jumped into the water to escape. Swimming past um, the Heine Yacht Club, and I'm swimming past cheeseburger in paradise and it's just the towering inferno. As the fire swept through Lahaina, he said there was no place safe to come ashore to, so he and others spent hours in the water before eventually being rescued. There's families. This is a community that's sitting in the water. There's like 75 of us. Officials have reopened the main access road to Lahaina to allow residents to return, at least temporarily, to survey the devastation firsthand. The vastness of this it's incredible, and this is what you're going to see everywhere. News cameras followed FEMA teams on their search and recovery mission. Crews have covered only about a third of the disaster area so far. Many residents whose homes have been destroyed are unsure as to whether they will be able to rebuild. The governor is promising that he will stop anyone from coming from the outside and taking advantage of the situation. I will stop predatory purchasing best I can. Legally, it's very difficult to stop outside buyers from buying anything, but I can make it very difficult for any transactions to occur. He says he wants to ensure that the locals who have already lost so much aren't victimized again. Jessica Cartalia, CBS News, Maui.